G'day and welcome back to the last video in this Austrian Common Sense campaign. So, I thought I'd miscounted. This was supposed to be video 50, but it's 51. Oh well. We'll just call it something else, we won't give it a number. So this is the Austrian Common Sense Roundup. How about that? Which means we need to wait for the French War to be over, just so we can go and sort out a few final things we wanted to do. Hurry up, France. We've got 41%. Our guys are handing it over to us, that's probably a mistake. Hey, France, you have it. We don't want it. There you go. Should be an option, uh, you know, transfer all owned occupied territory to war leader. Oh, sorry France, didn't see that one. There are no war allies, really. Can't give it to the war leader. Stupid. Let's do this one while he's working in the background. We've taken Granada. There you go. Come on, France, peace out already. 64%. What are they trying to do to whoever it is they're all with? Who's the war leader? Seriously. Well, if France is going to be stupid, we're not going to wait for them. Pretty sure. This will run out soonish, you know, in a bit. We could get tech. It would be military tech. So why not? Enables the code on. Alright, should it actually these guys somewhere that makes a bit more sense. One, two, three, four, five, six armies we'd need to move in like that. the capital. Entering the coalition at this point, seriously. Uh, sure, let's get some free manpower. What the hell, Louisiana? Alright, screw them. Hey, there we go. Barcelona and Urgell. Fine, but that doesn't end the stupid war. They don't want to move in. They don't understand it's going to be their land. It's going to join French Louisiana to French Louisiana. It's California. Who made California? Castile. Florida is freaking huge. Castile. Newfoundland English at least. Alright, so... We are not going to wait for France. We are going to declare on this lot. Over Salonic, which we can't do. Yes, we can, it's core. Um, let's go for imperialism instead. France won't join just because they're in another war. That's fine by us. Hey, Ming. That could be an issue. Alright, need the siege leader to well not really be there but whatever. You will go that way, you will go that way, you will go here. More 
Tech. Admin. Sure. Let's roll up the igloo. Let's stay here until they get there. Useless and pointless. So we'll pick quality. Alright, well Chris is gone. Means we can go to Celestry. There we go, now France is out. Hey France. Come here, buddy. Not that we need them, but always handy. Wow. Ming. It's handy to have them on the side. There goes our pretend war goal. These guys are coming down here. So let's go join in. One five versus four two. Easy. All right, somebody just abandoned their siege. General's dead. There's our mercenary army that's supposed to be in the front line. Can't get around them. Let's take that. Alright, coalition's getting smaller because they're seeing what we're doing to the Ottomans. And they're seeing that France is in a war on our side. No unrest, no overextension, no war exhaustion to speak of, particularly. Nothing to do but wait for these sieges. Speed 5. Celestri. Not the one we wanted first, but sure. There we go. So you want these guys to run down there. Take a leader, I guess. Oh, look at this French army rolling around just eating everyone's food. Alright. Keep police. Sure. Back up to speed 5 again. We have one Ackerman. Let's get a bit closer. We'll win that pretty comprehensively. Good. Knowledge is power. Well, don't need that much prestige. Losing three per year anyway. Okay, so I just crashed the game, totally my fault, but hopefully stitching it together will work well enough. So, we have 13 war score now. Let's see if that'll give us Salonic back. It will not, but hopefully soon. So, once we do that, the game will basically be over. Just, wow, what are they doing in there? Let's go down to speed four for a sec. They want to do something weird like that. We will oblige them. As long as we survive long enough, which we don't. Fine. Teach them a lesson. Yeah, how do you feel about that, you bastards? They'll probably be able to get out across the strait. That's fine. And 
Did that actually knock him down far enough? It did. So, let's not check. Let's assume that that's the last province we need. And we'll send that to one. Yay! No, that's not it. Yay! Defender of Europe. Giving us tolerance of true faith, tolerance of heretics. Sure, why not? Incorporate Saxony. We can't do that for... Well, actually, when did we take them on? Yeah, we can do it now. It would take a long time to do the thing, though, so no. Create a proper fleet. Sure, whatever. Not going to do it. Alright, well... I think I'm going to end this video here. This is basically what we want to get out of it at the moment. We got a few achievements. I think it was four we ended up getting in this campaign. We could go on and get others, but you know, I'd rather do them in a separate campaign, particularly the uh, Castilian Spanish campaign. Looking forward to that one. So, what did we get? We got electable accidentally when we got kicked out, and Saxony made us an elector. God knows why they did that, just to rub it in. So, we got our revenge on them and vassalized them and destroyed the empire. So, yeah, suck that. And we also got... What we got? Pen is mightier than the sword for having three unions as Austria. We got... Electable. We got one family to rule them all for having our dynasty on eight thrones at the same time. And we also got... What is it? Double the love? Not the Polish one. Not that one. Double the love. Start with no unions. Get two at the same time. Which you have to do on the way to getting that other... Uh, Australian one anyway. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like the uh, videos, definitely click the like button and subscribing would be even better. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.